Ever since my last video, I've gotten over 100 messages from people been going through the same thing that I'm going through. And to be honest, it's just heartbreaking. And what I'm going to reveal in this video, it's just not cool. And it is the main reason why I started this investigation, why I built a team around this and why I made that first video. But without further ado, let's get right into it. I wanted to keep all the information kind of like enclosed. I don't want to just start rambling to everybody. blockchain security engineer at Binance and right away I knew I wanted to work with him. So I reached out. He said he was sorry to hear about my loss and he wanted to know more information about the case. So that's exactly what we started with. Sent him over my MetaMask address and he did a lot more digging. And what he found out, I just can't even comprehend. It's, it's just sad. That's like the only thing I can say. It's sad. So the real question was, what can we do to get information about these hackers? There has to be something, right? My funds never landed into an exchange. So unfortunately, that kind of stops the path because there's no exchange to track it down to. I mean, it's kind of just chilling in the blockchain right now. What he's saying is the best case scenario is the exchange will block the user's account and they will report his criminal activity to the police in his region. I told you people, don't give up on me. I am not going to just let this fly. I'm going to do whatever it takes to do something about this. And you want to know why I'm even angrier than I was? Because we tracked down what happened after they unstaked my time or memo, whatever. Then they sold it for AVAX, then they transferred it to another account, and then they swapped it for Matic that was then transferred to an account with over $31 million. $31 million of hardworking people. $31 million. When this all first happened, it was more or less about me. Like, hey guys, I lost $1,000. I went through this. I'm feeling, I, me, me, me. It's honestly beyond that point. It, it's not about me anymore, guys. It's not. I'm not doing this for me. I don't give a fuck about that $1,000. I don't care. I don't care. There is $31 million that has been stolen and nothing has been done about this. I. So since this is a screenshot, I'm going to actually uh, go and see if this money is still in the account because this is a screenshot from uh, two days ago. And to make it more convenient for you, I'll put that shit in the description. You can look at it. You can do some more investigation if you want. I mean, this is all a team effort. And if you've been scammed or if you've been through something like this, where you've had your MetaMask hacked, where you've had your crypto stolen hacked, whatever, reach out to me. You should join my brand new Telegram. I actually just started it yesterday. It's a place where I'm chatting and talking to viewers. And it's just, it's been great. There's like 30 people in there because I haven't really even put it in a video yet. And it's just been cool. Like everybody's chill. And the community I'm building, it's awesome. It makes me smile every day. It makes me feel like I'm not alone on this. It just feels good having support behind me. And I hope you believe in me to not give up. I know we can do it. I believe in myself. I believe in the people that are helping me. I just want to turn something bad into something good. Okay, people. It looks like the hackers have some bad spending habits. Or maybe they're just buying the Bitcoin dip. That could be a good thing. They have several transactions that are going outside of this Matic wallet to other wallets. When you think about it, put yourself in the shoes of the hacker. You hack somebody... You get their Bitcoins or whatever, whatever the fuck they want. Or in this case, whatever the fuck you want. You take the currency, you have it in a, a MetaMask wallet or whatever. You send it to another MetaMask wallet. You send it to another MetaMask wallet. You think that's secure even though you can track the transactions. But anyways, what do you do to be able to actually spend that money? You can't go and spend your freaking Polygon at Target. Well, I haven't really been outside the house recently, so maybe you can. But you know they're going to take this Matic, send it to another wallet, and somehow get it to an exchange so they can cash it out and get, get some cash. What what else do they want? They want cash. I mean, at least if I was a hacker, I would want the cash. I don't want Matic. And you know they're going to at least cash out a little bit. You just know it. You know it. Put yourself in their shoes. So I took that thought and I told the main investigator that was helping me with this case. I went and looked at my messages and he was already two steps ahead. I was trying to tell him information I just discovered and he was already five steps ahead, actually. I mean, he tracked down multiple exchange accounts associated with my attacker that's big at that point i'm like whoa like we're actually getting somewhere with this so what he said was yeah one of the hackers in my summed up terms got pretty freaking greedy so we tracked down the greed in the chain of transactions that we detected you can see here one of the attacker's wallet is regularly receiving funds from various binance hot wallets this is a very strong indicator that this is a personal wallet and not a burner wallet you can report this address to Binance and they can identify the hacker. And I hope this shit bites his mother. Mm, I hope it bites his ass like a pit bull. So I just clicked the link. Now we're going to take a little better look at what's going on in this wallet. Look at all of these transactions. So the hacker is sending funds from Binance hot wallets 
to their personal wallet, which is right here. I will also have that down below in the description. And what we are suspecting is every single one of these transactions, stolen funds, 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 stolen funds. This wallet right here has been reported to Binance. And what I want you to do is the exact same thing. Please, please, please go report this to Binance. Go report this to KuCoin. We need to report these addresses. I have done my part. I want you to do yours. You never know what can happen when everybody works together. The possibilities are endless. I have the platform. I will be the voice for the people. This is far from over. They currently have zero funds in this account. Everything they get, they send it back out to another wallet. This is also another wallet that is doing the exact same thing. Another one. And this is a wallet that also led from tracking down transactions from that Matic wallet. So that was the main source where we're getting these leads from. And every single day we're getting more and more information and it's been rewarding. We're moving forward and we are getting somewhere with this. This is the third one we tracked down. Another one. And what it seems to be is one of them was for Ethereum. One of them was for Matic. This one's for BNB. And it kind of seems to be that they're pretty organized, which potentially could help us even more. When you search up somebody's wallet and see their transactions, you can also leave comments. What do the comments say on this wallet? Let's see. One month ago. Well, that's the address of someone who steals your BNB. Here is another address that he sends stuff. Please return every BNB you have stolen. It is hard earned money. It is just sad to think that there's like people out there that could actually like live normally knowing that they literally single-handedly destroyed lives money is something that's connected to emotion i don't see money as like a physical object i see it as like an emotion in a way you could literally just ruin somebody's whole life by doing something like this i just can't even like sit here and comprehend it all i'm kind of just so overwhelmed with all the messages of like this happening to people and stuff and i've said this in several videos it's just something that gets me very very worked up i just want to do my part and that's what I'm doing. So there are still many details I cannot release. And I hope you can understand that we want to ensure that we do the proper thing. But the one thing I can tell you is we're currently in contact with the hackers.